Hey everybody, how you doing? So I'm back and I told you I was going to tell you about my other beverage cooler fridge that I have. I'm standing inside my shop and uh, all the cold drinks in here as you can see. This used to be an old double door Pepsi uh, 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 display fridge. And um, I use the method that they use in the desert. They call it a bromide bank. For those of you that don't know what bromide is, it's an additive that you can put inside water along with salt and it makes water freeze at a much lower temperature than normal. Normal water freezes around zero degrees Celsius. Now it can freeze around between minus 15 and minus 30 degrees. Unfortunately, uh, for this experiment, I did not use bromide. I used uh, glycol that you can find in uh, anti antifreeze. I used the red one. I mixed it about um, two liters with 23 liters of water. This bromide bank is a stainless steel bucket that I've welded up that's inside the top of the fridge where the old evaporator would have been. So I've taken all of that out. I've made brackets for this. It takes about 23 liters of water and I've coiled six millimeter or quarter inch copper pipe inside it. I've used about the whole 30 meter roll in this little bucket and I've plugged up all the holes and I have a cooling plate in here for a normal fridge. I'll show you that now. LED lights and the compressor and the condensing tray is outside. So this is about a thousand liter fridge also. And it used to have almost a horsepower motor in here, compressor. And it was quite heavy on electricity as well. Also drew about eight amps of electricity. Now currently this fridge draws less than an amp because I've used one fifth of a horsepower of an R600A compressor. So, let me show you. So I'm just gonna bend down a bit and point it up so that you can see. Here is the bromite bank. And I don't know how well you can see this. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the door. And over there you can see is my pipes coming in into the bromite bank. It circulates through, it goes out again and then it goes into this cold plate. Can you see there's the cold, this is a normal cold plate that they use in uh, normal domestic fridges that stands at the back normally, it's quite a long one. And uh, you can see the main line that's coming in is frozen up. So I'm just gonna show you over here, here's my thermostat and I've got it all the way on about minus 10 degrees. So that's where my system's running at. I don't have fans that blow the air down like normal fridges. I have a fan all the way on the bottom that actually sucks the cold air that accumulates in the bottom and forces it up into the fridge and then it just circulates by itself. So I'm just going to take you around outside and show you the compressor. Right, so here we are outside the shop and this is a normal uh, condensing tray that comes actually off of a standard 250 liter upright fridge that I bought of a friend of mine for 100 bucks uh, this is a very old fan and over there you can see is the compressor very small one fifth of a horsepower like I mentioned it draws less than an amp of electricity and everything is pretty standard it's got the normal uh, 0.66 um, capillary tube I've used one and a half meter length here so if you work on roughly about 30 meters of copper pipe, that's what you're going to use. You're going to use about 1.5 meters of this. So I just wanted to show you over here. Connections all up. Um, this compressor actually works very hard. Uh, it's quite hot. The reason why is because I'm cooling a freaking thousand liter fridge with it. So I've bought the quarter horsepower R600A compressor for it. Also just want to show you over here. Can you see there's a little bit of moisture dripping over there? So that means the pipe is a little bit damp and that's perfect for this compressor. It runs currently on zero PSI. Uh, I don't have my gauges here to put it up for you and I don't have the clamp meter, but I've tested it numerous times. It's less than an amp of electricity. So the reason why it has a bromide bank on the inside is because they use it in the desert because they freeze a block of ice. And this is basically like a battery and what it does is it stores all the cold energy inside the ice block and at night if the power is off for some reason the fridge stays cold so what you need to uh, 
do is just you can do a little bit of research on this. They use it in the desert. Uh, I've heard a friend tell me they use it in Namibia. Uh, very old. It's actually basically obsolete technology, as what most people would tell you. And it doesn't work, but here you can see it does work. The fridge actually runs about 7.5 degrees, which is excellent for the beverages. Thanks for watching. Cheers.